Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is. Hello, so hello cool. guys. Welcome to another video. So this one I was getting requested on Instagram a lot. So here we are, finally gonna do this for you. Um, <laughs> hi, Bentley. Here's the star. <laughs> okay, so today, in today's video, we're going to do current favorites. What's this month? June, so June current favorites. So a bunch of this stuff is stuff that I've been using for quite a bit, but like really using like more recently. So I guess let's start with I just got ready so we'll start with a couple of my makeup items or beauty items so this this is something that actually Katie and I both have been using quite frequently like right now I am just using this as foundation like you can use it as a base you can mix it with your foundation to make it like more highlighted you can do so many things with this product this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter what the exact product description is, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like a base or something that you like mix in with foundation, but I'm wearing this as foundation. It just gives you a nice little glow. Um, I've been really loving this. On days where I don't wanna wear too much makeup, I'll put this just like I said, as foundation. On days where I wanna have a little more full coverage, I'll put this underneath foundation and I'll still have that like little glow coming out. Um, so definitely love this. I use the shade three, which is fair. Um, it's a little bit darker than you would think, being fair. Four is a little too dark. Four might be like Katie's color right now because she has a lot more color than I do, but definitely give this a shot. They do have also like the little mini versions that they sell at Sephora. Um, I couldn't find one in the shade that I was looking for, but I really only looked at one store. But if you want to just give it a try, the smaller ones are like $15. So you can try that before you commit and buy the big bottle. I think this one was like 30 or 40, something like that. All right, so the next product, this one I actually just started using like a week ago and I absolutely love this. So this is the Sol de Janeiro bronzing, it's called Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil, Glow Motions. So it's a glow oil. It has like a bronzy color to it. It has shimmer. So I've been looking for like the perfect body oil, bronzer, that type of thing. I've used the Tom Ford one. I've used the Patrick Ta one. Um, and they just, for me, it was like a little bit too oily. The Patrick Ta one wasn't too bad, but the Tom Ford one, a bit like too greasy. This one doesn't feel greasy at all. And this one, when you first put it on, it's like color. So you have to make sure you blend it. Um, it doesn't like stain your skin or anything like once you wash it off it just washes off but it doesn't feel greasy it dries down really well and it gives you a nice like glow shimmer this i really really like i just wore this um to an event the other day and it looked really good on the skin you can put it on your face you can put it on your body kind of all over i put it on my legs my chest my arms this you can on the box it says you can mix it with your, your foundation or just like use it as a highlighter i haven't used this on my face yet um, but I don't really care to since I have this. Maybe I'll try it just to kind of play around with it. But um, this one is really great for your body if you don't want to feel like too greasy. I always wash my hands after I put it on though because like I don't want my hands to be like weird and bronzed. <laughs> but it looks super beautiful on the skin. All right. We'll do the last beauty item. So the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. So I know you guys have seen this like 100 times over. Um, I've recently been trying like a couple different products mixing it up and I just always find myself going back to this. I don't use this during the day though as like a chopstick. If I'm using like a chopstick during the day I usually just use like Aquaphor or I use um, the Summer Fridays lip balm. That one is really really good but for like an overnight mask this is like my all-time favorite. I wake up, wipe it off, my lips always feel smooth and plump in the morning. This is in the flavor berry, but I have like, I think I have the green apple one. I have the grapefruit one. I have like four of these. So obviously I really like these. I don't know where the other ones are, but yeah. All right. And then a kind of a more basic item that I guess I wouldn't really think to normally put in um, my favorites, but body lotion. So I feel like for me personally, it's super hard to find one that like really hydrates my skin, really like smells good, just kind of does, checks all the boxes. Cause I've used plenty. Some of them, they just kind of sit on your skin. They don't rub in. 
this is the best body lotion that I've honestly like ever used. Obviously like Vino and stuff like that if your sensitive skin are always great, but this one I just absolutely love. This is a Shea, Shea Better 24 hour moisturizer body lotion in vanilla cashmere. This one smells so good. Like I love a good vanilla scent and this, this is it. Let's see. It smells so good. The only thing I will say about this packaging is even when I have like right now I have like maybe like this much left in it and it's so hard to pump. <laughs> like when you get to the bottom of it, I kind of have to like shake it around a bunch and then or like maybe like even use this, take it out and then just like spread it on my body. It's kind of a pain, but honestly it's worth it because this makes my skin feel amazing and I just always smell so good. Like every time I wear this, Charlie's like, wow, you smell like really good. What are you wearing? And I'm like, it's just lotion. So highly recommend this. Hopefully they change their packaging at some point or just make it easier to pump, but love this. Oh, and I lied, I actually have one more beauty item, which is honestly, I'm sure also overshared on this platform and like every single platform, but the Olaplex bonding oil, this. So I dye my hair quite frequently, as I'm sure you guys have been able to tell. Like when I started my YouTube, it was blonde, like all blonde, and then it went orange and blonde, and now it's like dark and blonde. <laughs> what I'll do next, I don't know, but my hair, it really needs oil. It really needs hydration because it's just been bleached and dyed so many times. It's been through it. I'm really pretty harsh on my hair. <laughs> and I go to the beach and the pool, so it's just like always exposed to chemicals and stuff. So um, I've used a bunch of different oils. There's a couple that I like, but this is like my second bottle of the Olaplex number no. seven, and I absolutely love this. I specifically kind of focus it on my ends, like anytime I get out of the shower. I don't do it when my hair is wet, wet. I don't know if you can't. I'm not like a beauty influencer or anything, so take everything that I say with a grain of salt as far as like the way you use it. But um, when my hair is like slightly damp still or even dry, I'll put it on my ends. And I don't ever go on my scalp. I don't know if you should do that. I really wouldn't because you already have natural oils. But I always go on the ends and then like mid of my hair. I just cut off like three inches or so of my hair because it was kind of dead. My hair <laughs> stylist was like, um, do we want to cut off all the dead? And I was like, do I want to? No, will we? Yes, just do it. I'll close my eyes. But anyways, I've <laughs> been loving this. Like I said, second bottle. Highly recommend this as a hair oil. It just makes my hair feel amazing. You have to be consistent with it because if you're not consistent with like any product, honestly, you're really not going to see a difference. And that's what I noticed. Like for me, I at first, I don't know if I talked about it on any of my vlogs, but the Olaplex like purple shampoo, I said I wasn't really a big, a big fan of it, but I wasn't consistent. And I started using it consistently um, when I had like my other hair color and I noticed a difference. So it was just like a me, a user error problem. <laughs> but yes, highly recommend this. <laughs> I'm doing great. All right, what is next? Okay, so next, uh, this is actually a recommendation from Katie. So this is the Vita Raw Lion's Mane. It's a natural neurotropic and brain shroom. So basically it helps your cognitive ability. So cognitive enhancement has focus immunity and energy so it has 200 2400 milligrams of all of this stuff in it um this i've been taking in the mornings and i honestly do notice a difference like i have less brain fog i'm kind of all over the place all the time like my focus isn't always up and i kind of thought it was like maybe my iron levels maybe i'm just not drinking enough caffeine but honestly like taking this has helped significantly and this bottle is pretty cheap too. This is my second bottle of it. It has organic lion's mane powder and organic black pepper extract. So it's really very minimal in ingredients, other ingredients, organic rice powder and vegetable cellulose capsule. So it's super natural. I have found this to be helping a lot. Rather than taking like too much caffeine in the mornings, like I've kind of slowed it down with caffeine. Coffee has not been sitting too well with me lately. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older and I'm like less tolerant of it or whatever it is, but this has been helping a lot. But do keep in mind that it has like natural like caffeine in it. Maybe not caffeine, but like it gives you energy. So maybe don't take this like super close to bed. I find for me that it works best in the mornings, but you can kind of play around with it and see how you feel. But I really, really love this. Okay. And then... I have two more items. 
they kind of go hand in hand. So the first one is going to be one of my favorite books that I've been reading. So this one, I feel like everything I'm showing you guys has like been talked about like a million times over, but this has just kind of been my kick lately. So <laughs> I'm just going to share it with you anyway. So this is Atomic Habits. So it really breaks down like how to build habits, like little habits, step by step. I am personally like really bad with a routine. Once I get into a routine, I am very easily like messed up off of my routine. So for me personally, like I am not very great at sticking to routines. I don't know if it's like my willpower, my whatever it may be. I'm trying to get better at it, but I feel like this has helped me kind of take a step back and like really reevaluate like just like internally like why. I'm the way that I am and why like habits aren't maybe sticking and like kind of gives you a little bit more of a structured process as to how you can kind of implement like the small little things that over time will help you tenfold. I've been kind of bouncing back between this and the um, 100 essays that'll change your life, that one. That one's also a really good one. I'll link both of them below for you, but anybody that really wants to like get into a routine or like pick up better habits, healthier habits, maybe kick bad habits to the curb, I would highly recommend this book. I know that they do have it as an audiobook as well, but for me, I prefer something in my hands. If I read it, I'm gonna retain it more than if I just like listen to it. So I'm not always a huge fan of audiobooks unless it's maybe like fiction, but even then, like I really love something in my hands. Not a big fan of reading things online too much, not a big fan of like listening to them. So I like to like make highlights or like put little sticky notes in the book. I don't usually like to highlight my books to keep them fresh, but I'll like put little sticky notes on pages that like stood out to me or things I want to remember and go back to. That really helps me and then it kind of brings you back into like what the main point is. So I highly recommend this book to anybody that wants to kind of change their habits. All right, so my final favorite is going to actually go hand in hand with the book, sort of. So these blue light glasses, these clear ones, I'm sure you guys have seen me wear these in like my original videos. I'd wear these all the time because I was working behind the computer screen like all day, every day. I still am. And these help significantly. I don't know if the color of your eyes makes any sort of difference at all with <laughs> like how much exposure to blue light there is, but these help me so much because my eyes just get so strained when I'm actually like reading anything on the computer and this helps because I'm on the computer all the time, like editing, working, doing whatever I gotta do. So I highly recommend these. Honestly, like any blue light glasses helps, but I actually really like the way that um, the clear looks. Like I said, you guys have seen me wear these in my first couple videos, I'm sure, all the time. <laughs> um, I kind of wear them like outside the house when I look like not great too. They kind of cover up what's going on here. But I will link everything below, and if you guys like these types of videos, let me know. I'll try to do these like every month. Um, Amazon favorites, just favorites from whatever website it may be, or fashion. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching, guys.